morning everyone welcome back to another video the next two weeks i'm on pediatric rotation so i figured i would at least start a vlog today on monday pediatrics doesn't start until 9 every day so i'm actually able to go to a 7 30 workout class this morning i probably wouldn't go normally at 7 30 7 is okay to not feel rushed but 7 30 i won't get back here till 7 40 and then hopefully out the door within five minutes and usually that wouldn't work with the bus, but my boyfriend's here to drive me this morning, so that is kind of the only reason I'm doing it. I can't film anything in the pediatric clinics, but I can just kind of debrief after the fact and show you guys how I'm spending our breaks and just let you know what it's like being on rotation versus seeing our normal patients. I got up at like 6.45 and was on my phone for maybe like five minutes, and then I've just been like drinking water all morning, and I had some strawberries, and I just toasted this bagel we got bagels yesterday so this is like from an actual place not just the grocery store and it's super good it's rosemary olive oil which sounds kind of random but it's very delicious had my breakfast to go and just pulled in because there's construction and you're able to check in on your phone which is nice so i can go up there like right now and it's not a problem that i'm like right when class is starting one of the things that i like better about coming here than planet fitness in addition to the workouts and the instruction. It's just the location is a lot closer to my house than when I went to the gym, normal gym, Planet Fitness. So that's been really nice. Like it's probably like a four or five minute drive now instead of the other one was 20. But there's construction, so it takes me like almost 10 minutes, which is fine except for today when I'm like in a rush to get home later. But again, I still think it'll be okay. We don't have to be up in pediatrics until nine o'clock sharp. So hopefully... I'll get there by 8.50 and it won't be any issue. So we're on our little lunch break now. I just brought some like steak fried rice that I had left over and then some candy for my birthday. And then the faculty gave me a chocolate bar for being a volunteer to do like a demo on me. They're just like showing anatomy for injections. I didn't even have to get numb, so that was kind of nice. And we've just been doing type it ups all morning. I have basically to finish my pulpotomy and then stainless steel crown prep. Um, I think it's called like a slit slot something crown prep on an anterior tooth and then just a tiny, tiny prep for a composite on another anterior tooth. So I'm hoping all that will be done by like two and then there's another demo, this one about nitrous. And then I'm hoping I'll be home by 3 and then come back here for the 5.30 Bible study would be ideal. Not to have to stay here till 6.30 without a break, but I mean, that's how like a normal day is. So either way, it'll be fine. So I'm back, I got back at three, it's 3.20 right now. I just grabbed a Starbucks refresher that I had out of the fridge and a little snack. I'm gonna sit on the couch and take some radiology quizzes. We have like 30 we have to do and I have probably like 23 left that have to be done by the end of the semester. So hopefully I'll get through five or six before the night is over and I'll probably watch last night's Big Brother too since it's Monday. It was on last night, but Justin and I were watching Game of Thrones and I didn't want to stop because we were ending the first season, so I wanted to see what happened. Also, in the past few minutes, I was gathering up the last of our stuff for white coat sales. Most of it's at school, except I do have these a few extra tooth boxes and then we have the little like acrylic tooth shaped planters that we're selling too. Pretty much everything else at school, I think we're just selling like the stock we had we didn't buy anything else we have about 40 of these 40 like m dentistry license plates and then only 12 of the planters and basically what white coat sales is is on friday is the d1's white coat ceremony then afterwards from like three to four their families and everybody gets to come into the dental school and there's like all the booths set up for each club selling different m dentistry apparel or items so it's basically like a fundraiser sale but you get to buy cute Michigan dental stuff. So we have one that we're also doing for Christian dental. That's like a Nike dry fit 
t-shirts so we're really hoping that makes some money we have bible study tonight and our bank account is dwindling and we don't charge dues or anything we just buy food for the bible studies usually with the money we fundraise so hopefully this fundraiser goes well so we have more money to have food at all of our bible studies but that's the update for now i'm just gonna continue getting some work done and then go back to school around 5, 5.15 so I can get the food for tonight's study from the delivery person and bring these into the storage room before Bible study starts at 5.30. And then that goes till 6.30 and then I have a call with a dentist from Northwest Michigan. I also talked to another one from Northwest Michigan but a different town kind of recently just about prospective job opportunities. I know I'm still starting my third year but it's not unrealistic to be getting out there letting people know that I exist that I'll be looking for a job about a year from now trying to sign contracts so it's good to make connections and if people don't find anyone by then they might still be hiring obviously they're going to actively be looking and the position might not still be available but there's no harm in making connections is how I see it. mug ready my mom got me this and then it comes with like a matching wine glass that says after patients which is very cute and then i am eating toast and strawberries and i packed my lunch which is pasta i made for lunch i made it last night and then a couple protein bars it's a lot of food but i'm not sure if i'll be going right from school to the tigers game or if i'll be able to come home with an asda tigers game with Detroit Mercy's as the chapter. So we're going to the 7:10 game tonight, leaving at 5.15, so it's already kind of a close call. But we should be fine to get there in time and then meet up with the sponsor before the game starts and then enjoy the game. And then I brought my outfit in my bag for what I'm gonna wear tonight. And today is all patience and peds. Yesterday you saw was type it on and orientation activities. Today we see patients all day and shadow a little bit. You have some shadowing requirements and some patient requirements. The first week is mostly exams and profies and the next week is when we have the potential to do operative. But usually only of like eight or nine of us two or three people get to do operative and then some just assist unfortunately just because a lot of patients cancel. So I actually got done at like three-ish which was really nice and then I came back here and I'm gonna eat the leftover extra lunch and a few more snacks, get some hydration going and then get ready for the game. The bus leaves at 5.15 and now it's almost four o'clock so I'll probably it's been like 20 minutes getting ready. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. I just got back from a bar class, which was really fun. Like I said, Wednesday was classes and a lunch and learn and a quiz. I did a little bit better than usual on this quiz. I got one wrong instead of sometimes I get two wrong. I'm just barely passing the class. This is for fixed pros because the midterm was really hard and only 25 questions for a whole midterm. I got 19 out of 25 correct, but that was still like a low score, unfortunately. So I'm just barely passing the class. So that's a little stressful. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about lecture-wise for this semester, but I'm sure it'll all come together with finals, and I think we have one more quiz as well before finals, if I'm not mistaken. But the rest of the night, I'm just going to make dinner. We're making some pork tacos and probably watch Game of Thrones. I have a box in the back of my car that I need to bring to school for white coat sales on Friday. Some of the other as the stuff we did today was that lunch and learn with the company Comfort Dental. They're kind of like franchises of offices. All dentists run though and a little bit smaller than like DSOs per se. So they're not really a DSO because they're all dentist owned and then a percentage of collections is paid to Comfort Dental, but the rest of collections is dispersed in each individual office between the owner doctors. So it was kind of unique and we got Chipotle and it was a good time, good lunch. And then I also met with the VP of our chapter. I'm the president if you're new here for our as a chapter. And my VP and I, we just discussed a little bit about our District 6 conference coming up in November. And then I came home and did that podcast with Kajal. And that was really fun. And that was kind of 
everything up until this point. So I will talk to you all after or before peds tomorrow. It's very loud, but it's Thursday morning. I'm already dressed and I'm in the process of making some sausage and toast for breakfast along with coffee before I have to leave. It's already 8 10 though and i really need to be out there by like 8 25 so i need to pick up the pace a little bit i'm filming right over here by all of my plants and they're looking a little thirsty so i'm gonna water these and then drink my coffee and get on the bus to go to school for another day of peds I was able to deliver the whitening trays to my dad. I have some footage, I think, of me going through the process of making it. The key takeaways would be you want the cast to be trimmed down super, super small. You wanna take away like the palette or like where the tongue space was. You want it to be pretty short as well, like not a big base, just because it's unnecessary. And then you use like blockout resin, which is the blue stuff you see, and then you cure that. And that's basically making space outside of the buccal surfaces of the teeth. That way when you vacuum form the tray to it to make your whitening trays, there's space for the gel to go. And then once you've cured all the blockout resin, then we use like a special material not just normal stent material and i had to like get it from our dispensing it had to be prepaid all this stuff and then i was able to make the trays the difference and this is where i messed up is that you don't want it to form a big bubble like normal stent material you want it to pretty much it kind of like ripples a little and then once it gets a little warmer it balances out and it's flat again and then that's when you want to put it down and the head of the prosthodontics department helped me make my second set because I messed up my first set because I made them like our normal stents we would make for crowns and stuff with that big bubble and then it was just really runny because it's already kind of a wobbly material. The main thing is just that you don't want it to get the big bubble so once it evens out in heat then you turn on the vacuum and then you pull it down and then you want to have like a wet washcloth or something or like paper towel with you to press it in even tighter onto the occlusal and buccal surfaces and then once those cool down a little bit you can go ahead and trim them i used like a scalloped scissor like it was kind of curved to make it easier because then you're scalloping around the gingiva you want it like a millimeter past the cervical margin of the tooth that way if it's scalloped versus like flat then the material isn't gonna sit on the gums if it does leak out a little bit because then it would cause a lot of irritation and kind of like burn the gums so that was the main takeaway with the whitening trays and i think they turned out well hopefully my dad will like them but he was my patient at five to seven and then we went out to dinner. Uh, my sister's in town for a wedding, so we did like a family dinner in Ann Arbor, which was really nice. And it's also Thursday night, so I still have a full day of pediatric rotation tomorrow too. I don't think I told you guys about peds rotation stuff yet. So Tuesday was when we saw our first patients. I assisted in the morning on like a teenager afternoon was my patient and someone else assisted me also a teenager and then wednesday we had classes today thursday there's four patients that come and then two students per patient one providing the care one assisting but there's nine of us on this rotation so this morning i wasn't assigned to the patient at all i just had like time off where i could work on our other stuff that's part of the rotation so we have a bunch of like assignments that i worked on like different treatment planning and prescription writing and like a research paragraph thing too that I have to finish and then we also have to do observations and then we have three parts of an OSCE that includes clinical components on a type it on that'll all happen next week of the rotation all of the testing this week 
is, like I said, orientation, practicing on the typodont on Monday, then the rest of the week, exams and profies, and then next week is operative on patients and the OSCEs. So that's kind of where we're at now, and I really hope we'll get to see some tiny kids, like two or three year olds, even like a six year old, someone that's not in their 13 to 14 to 15 year range, because they're like gonna be very cooperative and Honestly, they're just like very chill and don't really care to talk or do anything. They just want to like get in, get out, which is easy, but I want to be challenged or like have someone that's silly and fun. I think that's like what's cool about peds. So hopefully sometime in the next week and a day, I'll get to see a tiny little kid. I'll definitely update you guys though, but that's everything for Thursday. Okay, it is Friday night. I have some ambiance <laughs> going on with the lighting, so sorry that I'm a little blue, but I'm actually editing the video right now that you are watching, and I wanted to just kinda wrap up to the point we are now, and then if I get any footage this weekend, which tomorrow, Saturday, is the Asda Golf outing, which is gonna be really fun, I think there's about 60 or 70 people playing in teams of four, foursomes, it's a scramble. There's gift cards for the winning two teams and then also a prize for the longest drive. But then after the scramble is done, there's also a luncheon that's really nice and then more raffles for more prizes just for attending. It is gonna be a really fun time and I'm like a very beginner golfer. But if you're coming to Michigan, watching this or something, highly recommend getting involved in the golf outing even if you're a very beginner because it's just fun it's fun to be outside hang out with everybody and then the next day sunday is our asda free dental day that i've been talking about in a lot of vlogs that you've all been watching for the past couple months and it's finally happening there's 80 pre-dental students probably like a lot of you that are coming to our dental school for an in-person pre-dental day the first one that we've had in over three years and this is the itinerary that the students will be doing, but I pretty much was the one that organized it this year, and I was so fortunate to have about 20 student volunteers and I think six faculty volunteers. That way we're able to make the sim lab portion happen because you need, obviously, licensed dentists around if you're gonna have people doing dental work, even on practice models. If there's drills around, you need some licensed professionals. But to wrap up, I know I told you guys this morning that I really wanted to see a little kiddo, and I actually did. I saw a super, super sweet three-year-old girl, and oh my gosh, it was so fun. I love working with little kids. I've always loved teaching little kids. Like I used to volunteer at Vacation Bible School and things like that, and I just love working with the really little ones. So hopefully next week I'll get to see some more three to six, maybe seven year olds. That way I can get more experience working with kids because other than our pediatric rotation in our normal clinics, which we call VICS, V-I-C-S, it stands for Victor's Clinic, I think, because we're like, hail to the Victor's U of M. I don't know, that's kind of where that comes from. But that's like the undergrad clinic where third and fourth year see patients. So in VICS, we only see adult patients ages 16 and up is when they start going there. And then 15 and 11 months, all the way down to six months is when you're gonna be seen in the pediatric clinic. And especially because we have specialties as well from like endo, ortho, oral surgery, like we really just kind of do the basics in our clinic, unfortunately. And we don't get to really practice a lot of what dentistry is holistically out in general practice. You'll be seeing kids usually, you'll be doing more advanced procedures, and that's all just stuff I'll have to get the hang of, get the pace of, pick up the skills once I graduate, but I'm getting good at all the basics, hopefully during dental school. So that's everything I think to update for this video. And in the next video, I will be sharing more of pediatric rotation where we actually have three exams as part of that rotation. And then I also have a final for my special care class next week, so it'll all be in the next video, as well as me studying for the last week of the semester Semester where I have five finals two weeks from now. So I really should be studying now, but I'm gonna finish editing this video that you're watching and I will see you in the next one.